Hello crochet friend, welcome back to another video. This is Brunette Kaliti and today I want to flip one of these. And I got two as you can see, so I'm going to start by flipping one of them and then if you like this video, I can flip the other one and I've asked you guys to vote which one looked better on me and you guys all voted for the gray one. So I'm going to be flipping the black one in today's video. It looks super cute like this, I'm not gonna lie. Look at it. We just need to take this to a whole new level. So what I'm gonna do, I'm still gonna keep it black because my coat is black, white and some shades of gray. So those are the shades I'm going to be using for flipping this one. And I have the perfect yarn for making this. So I'm going to be using the Aretha by Tesla.com. It's a fluffy yarn, very thin, as you can see, super thin, that you can mix this yarn with some other yarns to make it fluffy. So I'm going to be using black and white for this one. And then I also got here the Bravissimo 50 in black and white as well. So this is a DK yarn that I'm going to be mixing with the Aretha, the fluffy yarn. And because I want to add gray as well, I've decided that I'm going to be using the Bravissimo Lurex, this one here that has some sparkles. Look at that. And then for my hook, I'm going to be using a four millimeters and then a small pair of scissors and a tapestry needle and that's all you need. So now let's begin. The very first thing I'm going to show you will be how to make this incredible circle. Look at it. This is going to be so this is going to be the circle that is going to be on the outside. Super cute, look at that. So easy to crochet this one, you will love it and you can use it for other projects as well. So for round one, I'm going to be doing in white. So I'm going to be mixing the DK, the Bravissimo yarn with the Fluffy, the Aretha yarn. So I'm going to be crocheting with both yarns together like this. So begin by making a magic circle and then chain three. This chain three will count as a stitch. And now into the ring, work 15 double crochets. So in total, you are going to be having 16 stitches around for the very first round. So once you have the 16 stitches around, you can go ahead and close the magic circle. And now you can slip stitch into the chain three. Now chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. So with the next collar, make a slip knot and then you can attach into any stitch around. So I'm going to be attaching with a single crochet. So go into any stitch around, you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So this is going to be the very first single crochet. Now chain one and single crochet into the following stitch, chain one, single crochet into the next stitch, chain one, one single crochet into the following stitch. So keep on repeating that all the way around. So I got here at the end and I have 16 single crochets around and also 16 chain one spaces. So at the end, make sure that you chain one and then you go into slip stitch into the very first single crochet. And now chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. So now for the next round, I'm gonna do in black and I'm going to be also mixing the DK yarn with the fluffy yarn. So I have the two yarns together. I'm going to start by making a slip knot. And then I'm going to be attaching into any chain one space. So go around the chain one space, not into the stitch. Go around it, as you can see. And then you can attach with a single crochet. That's how I did it. And then chain one. And then into the same chain one space, work a half double crochet. So the single crochet and chain one is going to count as one stitch. And now you're going to work two half double crochets into every chain one space. So go into the next chain one space and work two half double crochets. 
into the next chain one space and work two half double crochets. And now repeat that all the way around. So I got here at the end. So I'm going to work my last two half double crochets into the last chain one space. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that chain one that we've created at the beginning. Now chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. And look how stunning it looks with both yarns together. It's so fluffy and this yarn is so, so soft. I love it so, so much. So now for the next round, I'm gonna do it in white, but just using the DK yarn. So I'm not combining the fluffy one for this round. So begin by making a slip knot. And here, what we are gonna do, we are gonna work in between the two half double crochets into that little space in between them. So go into any space around. I'm gonna go here and then I'm going to attach with a single crochet and then I'm going to chain two. And then I'm gonna go into the following space in between the two half double crochets and then I'm going to single crochet into that space. So basically just follow the previous single crochet and then single crochet right into that little space. It's that simple. Now chain two, go into the following space, single crochet, chain two, next space, single crochet, and now just keep on repeating that all the way around. So I'm here into my last space, so I'm going to single crochet into that, and then chain two, and now I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. Now chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. Now I'm going to be using gray for the following round. So now with the next color, make a slip knot. And then you can attach into any chain two space, going around the chain. So attach with a single crochet and then chain two. And this is going to count as the first stitch. And now into the same chain two, work two double crochets. So we have three stitches into this first chain two space. And now all you have to do is to work three double crochets into every chain two space. So skip the single crochet, go into the chain two space and work three double crochets. And now repeat this all the way around. So I'm here into my last chain two. So I'm gonna work three double crochets into that. And then slip stitch into the chain two. Now chain one. Cut off the yarn and fasten off. Now for the last two rounds, I'm gonna do with black and it's going to be mixed. So the DK yarn with the fluffy yarn. So I have both here. So I'm going to be making a slip knot. And then we are going to be attaching into any space that we have in between the three double crochets. So again, you can follow the single crochets and then here is a space. And then into that, we are going to be attaching with a single crochet. And this is the first stitch. And now I'm going to chain three and then single crochet into the following space available. Chain three, skip the three double crochets and into the next space available, work a single crochet. Chain three, single crochet into the next space. And now repeat that all the way around. When you get at the end, chain three and slip stitch into the first single crochet. So now for the last round, I'm still gonna use black. If you want, you can change here to another color, but I just wanna continue with black. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next chain three space available in which is this one for me. So I'm going to slip stitch into that and then I'm going to chain three and this is going to be the first stitch of the round and then I'm going to work three 
double crochets into the same chain three space. So I'm going to be having four stitches here at the beginning into this first chain three. And now all you have to do is to work four double crochets into every chain three around. So I'm going to be skipping this single crochet and then into the following chain three, I'm going to work four double crochets. Skip the single crochet and four double crochets into the next chain three space. And then repeat that all the way around. So now I'm here into the very last chain three space. So I'm going to be working my last four double crochets into this chain three. And then at the end, I'm going to slip stitch into the chain three. And now I'm going to chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. So here's the circle now completed. This is how it turned out. So once you make one, you're gonna go ahead and make the second one. And now here's the outside of our ear warmer. Now we have to make the back. And now if you want as well, you can do the weave-ins for everything. So let's put this aside now. And now let's make the other two circles that we have to do. So I have them already completed because these are going to be quite hard to show in the camera. So for this one, I have also mixed the DK and the fluffy yarn, as you can see. So it looks like this, super fluffy. But because you're not gonna see it, I'm gonna show you how to make it with this mustard yarn. So to begin, make a magic ring. And then you're going to chain three it's going to count as a stitch and then into the ring you're going to work 15 double crochets. So you're going to be having 16 stitches in total around into round one. So once you have the 16 stitches you can go ahead and close the ring and now slip stitch into the chain three and here's round one. So now for round two chain three and then double crochet into the same stitch that you did the slip stitch. So here's the first increase. Now go into the next stitch and work two double crochets. And then following stitch, two double crochets into the same stitch. And now keep on repeating the same step all the way around, increasing into every stitch around. So here's the last stitch. So I'm going to work the last two double crochets. So for round two, you're going to be having 32 stitches. And now I'm going to slip stitch into that chain three. And now for round three, chain three and double crochet into the very first stitch where you did the slip stitch and then one double crochet into the following stitch. And now this is the repeat all the way around. So two double crochets into the following stitch, so increase, and then one double crochet into the next stitch. And now repeat that all the way around. So I got here at the end and my last stitch is going to be just one double crochet and for round three, I have a total of 48 stitches. So I'm now going to slip stitch into the chain three. And now I'm going to do the last round. So chain three. And double crochet into the very first stitch where you did the slip stitch. And now you're going to work one double crochet into the next two stitches. And this is the repeat all the way around. So two double crochets into the following stitch. So an increase. And then one double crochet into the next two stitches. And now repeat that all the way around. So now I'm here at the end of round four. So I'm going to finish this one with one double crochet into the last two stitches. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the chain three. 
and this is how you make the back of the ear warmer so this is going to be the back and this is the front my one is not going to be yellow it's going to be black so you're not going to fasten off because we are going to be using this yarn to attach both together and around the ear warmer already i think this little project is going to be quicker than i thought because now i have a little dilemma because i don't know if i cover the top here in crochet but i don't think it's necessary because the top is already in black and the last round is black so now the question is do i cover it or not i'm not sure so before i move on i'm going to weave in all of the ends that i have here at the back just so it's nice and clean all right, we've been completed. Now we can begin the sewing. So I'm going to be using one colorful and the plain one that we did, that it's with the yarn, as you can see. This other one is going to be with the other plain circle. So I'm just gonna leave it aside for now. So I'm going to be putting my hook into this circle. So I'm going to be turning this colorful one here on the reverse, and then I'm going to be placing the reverse of this one right on top of it. And now we can begin joining them with a single crochet all the way around and I'm going to do halfway through so that we can insert the earmuff here and then finish the sewing. So all you have to do is to begin by finding one stitch on this side that you have the yarn attached and then you want to find another one any stitch around here on the other side and then you're going to pull up a loop through both yarn over and pull through both loops so joining with the single crochet now find the next two on both sides and then single crochet the next two single crochet and then just repeat that all the way around i know you cannot see it but i'm just finding the stitches and single crocheting them together it's very very simple and then I'm going to continue following the same steps until I'm kind of halfway through so that I can insert the, the little earmuff inside here and then finish the sewing. So as you can see, I left about this much open. This is how it's looking like. So cute! So I have both right sides on the outside, as you can see. So what I'm going to be doing now is inserting one of the sides of the earmuffs inside this little cover that I've just created and you want to make sure that the colorful side is on the right side and you want to move the side that you don't have the yarn attached all the way until it reaches the headband so just like this so it's right here close to the headband and now all you have to do is to finish the single crochets all the way up to the headband here So now when you reach the headband, I'm going to now chain one and then you just want to leave a little bit of yarn just so that we can sew this very nice and tight around the headband. So I'm going to leave about 50 centimeters or so. And now I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to now thread this yarn into a tapestry needle. And now all you have to do is to go back and forth, making sure that the little gap that we have around the headband, it's really nice and tight. And then once you're happy, just go through one stitch. And then before you finish the sewing, go through the little loop here and then you're going to make it nice and tight to fasten off and now just hide this yarn inside the cover and now we can cut off this yarn and this side is done so now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on this side here on the opposite side and then I will be back once this side's completed to try it on with you guys and see if I'm gonna add something here to the top or not.
oh my goodness i cannot handle it this is just the cutest thing so adorable all right now looking at it right after finishing this side i thought okay i do have to add something at the top i haven't even tried it on and i think i'm gonna do something super simple at the top here just single crochet around it so let's do that and see how it looks because then I think it's going to put everything together and it's going to look all fluffy because look how fluffy it is. I'm also going to do the top here in black because then it matches everything. So I have here the fluffy and the DK yarn and then leave a nice tail for the weave in so you can kind of sew it together with the base here. So I'm going to leave about 30, 40 centimeters and then I'm going to make a slip knot. And then all you have to do is to go around it and then you're going to catch. I'm going to do it in white so you can see exactly what I'm doing because otherwise you're not going to see it. I'm just going to do it this one. So slip knot. All right, so I'm going to go around it and then I'm going to catch the yarn on the other side and then move to the top like so going around it and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops. Just like this and then repeat this until I have covered everything so going around the headband grabbing the yarn moving to the top and then single crochet at the top and then I'm going to move all the single crochets that I create to one side like this and then I'm going to continue with the single crochet And then once I have a couple made, I'm just going to move them together with the other ones like so. And then now I'm going to continue making the single crochets. But then I'm going to make it in black. Look at that. So just making single crochets around it. So I think it's going to look cute. Let's see with the black. Definitely. Look at it. It's so fluffy and so cute. I'm so glad I had this idea. It looks so cute. This definitely took it to the next level. Really, it's so adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I'm getting at the end. It's just the fluffiest thing I have ever seen in my life. Something that I forgot was to measure the circles for you guys and they are all 15 centimeters. I did measure it before, but I forgot to mention in the video. So if you wanna use a different circle, you just have to make one that it's 15 centimeters. So I just finished covering all the headband and look at it. It's so adorable. I'm speechless. Ah! <laughs> so I'm just going to cut a little bit for this side so I can attach it in place. I'm going to then fasten off. So I did already chain one. I'm just going to fasten off. So what I'm going to do now is just finding one little stitch here in the base and then just secure that very last single crochet in place, just so that it's not gonna be moving up when we are wearing the earmuffs. And then I'm kind of going around it, just grabbing one little loop of the single crochet, of the little loops that we did around it, and then one little stitch of the bottom and just securing that together. Then I'm gonna do that all the way around. And then I'm going to hide this end inside the cover. So once you are done with this side, repeat the same steps to the opposite side. So yeah, this is how my ear warmers turned out. And now let's try it on together. I'm so excited. Stop everything you are doing because you have to cover your ear warmers with crochet. Do it right now. Look at this. What do you guys think? It's so, so soft. Did I just create my absolute favorite 
ear warmers ever. I think I did. I think I did. And you know what makes me even happier is that now when I go out, I'm actually gonna be wearing a crochet ear warmer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I cannot stop smiling right now. And let me know in the comments if you wanna see me covering this other one with crochet. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed making with me these super adorable earmuffs covered in crochet. And also, if you make one, don't forget to tag me so I can see your take on it and the colors you have chosen. I love seeing everything that you guys do following my tutorials. Don't forget to tag me so I can see it and show you some love. I really hope you have enjoyed your Christmas time. Let me know what you did in the comments. Let me know what you guys ate for Christmas. I love food. Let me know, let me know, let me know everything in the comments. So when you see this video, I'm on my holidays enjoying this earmuffs skin <laughs> so thank you so much everyone for watching today's video if you did enjoy don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos just like this one so yeah thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye